Hey Kara, have you ever wondered how a cell phone transfers information or how it works? Have you guys ever wondered what the benefits and limitations of cell phones are? Some benefits are cell phones can transfer information from a SIM card to a phone, and they can send messages and emails, store numbers into your phone, and some phones are able to have access to the internet. Some limitations are they can only store a certain amount of numbers on the phone, and some cell phones cannot receive picture messages, or sometimes people get dropped calls. Also, there are times when you don't get service. People are always using their cell phones to manage their daily lives. People nowadays need to socialize 24-7, whether it's about planning an important get-together, getting together with your friends, or opening important documents if you have internet on your phones. Sometimes, though, people don't realize what they're socializing about can wait a while while driving because you can get into trouble or even get hurt. Hey, you can't be texting while you're driving. Why can't I be texting you're while I'm driving? You're gonna get pulled over and we're gonna get into an accident. No, I won't. Ma'am, you are recklessly driving while texting. Here's a ticket. Thanks. So everyone's probably wondering how cell phones work. And in a cell phone, there are tiny hexagonal grids, and each hexagon, there are transmitters. Cell phones work within cells, and that is why we talk on our cell phones for a long time. We can talk on our cell phones for many, many, many miles without getting disconnected. And cell phones also use cell phone towers to transfer information. Cell phone towers have antennas so they can receive and transmit radio frequencies. Cell phones and cell phone towers use radio frequencies and the waves that are transferred are very low on energy so that they don't harm us and get into our DNA. How does this all work exactly? When you make a call or when someone calls you, a wave frequency from the cell phone antenna gets sent out to a tower nearby and the tower receives the wave being sent out and it transfers the voice information to the towers, which transfers the call to its destination and the call is completed. If the call doesn't send over, that means the radio frequency channels are unavailable or congested.